So the Coral Free Bets Handicap is the opening race today from Newcastle. And for the throws and spills of the Breeders' Cup, we're back to Hansworth with a 0 to 70. And at the top, we've got 7th Bride for Martin Leedham, Nono Bomb, and Jammer Cottage for James Shane, Gwitain Approach for M. McMilkerton, Agogli on Van Rensburg, Ars Life, Thomas Rogers, Star Deli, Alex Cherry, Jack Cherry, and Tiablo Daisy for Stu Gray, and Times Square for Obi Wan. So a mile and seven furlongs then on the all weather. And 0 to 70. All in line and ready to go. And away they go. A little bit slow. It was Gwitain approach. And plenty of time to make up for that. And over on the inside, the grey Jack Jerry might be one of the first out to get a decent position. But now Ars Life has come across to take the lead. And Gwitain approach as more often happens when a horse is out slow. It ends up making up the ground pretty quickly and ends up in a decent position. And that's what this one has done. So Ars Life is in the lead then. From Gwitain approaching second, the Grey Jack Cherry is third, White Armour Truck seventh, the Bride is fourth. Then a line of about three of them, the two James Shea horses, I think Nomo Bomb and Jammer Cottage, with Tiablo Daisy for Stu Gray. Then Alex Cherry's Star Deli's on the inside of a Gog, a rare 0 to 70. Runner for Leon van Rensburg and Times Square is the yellow jacketed horse on the outside. So they're already down well past the mile and a half point, and Ars Life is in the lead by about a length and a half to three, and three quarters. From Gwitain Approach in second, then Jack Cherry and Seventh Bride together with Tiablo Daisy next, and then No No Bomb. Times Square's making a bit of ground around the outside. Jammer Cottage is on the rail, and behind that one, Star Deli and a Gog is currently the back marker, but it's Ars Life who continues to show the way to Gwitain approach in second. Seventh Bride is now a clear third. Then come the Stu Grey pair, uh, Jack Cherry and Tiablo Daisy. Times Square has moved in from the outside and is now just about one off the fence with on its inside No No Bomb. Star Deli and Jammer Cottage are next. And Agog is the one that's going to try and come wide around the outside of the entire field. So into the final mile they go then with the lead Ars Life by two lengths. Gutain approaches in second. Seventh bride, the top weights move through into third. Then comes Jack Cherry and Tiablo Daisy. After that one is No No Bomb. Times Square being pushed along. Then Star Deli, Jammer Cottage, and Gog still the back marker, but only ten lengths off the pace. And Ars Life leads past the six furlong pole win with a lead of a length or two from Gutain approach and seventh bride. Then comes Tiablo Daisy and Jack Cherry, No No Bomb, Jammer Cottage. After that one, Star Deli and Times Square. And then finally a Gog. The race is on in earnest. Then now as the leader, Ars Life begins to be give, given the hurry up. Seventh Bride's moved through into second. Gwitain approach on the inside is third. Now coming round the outside, Tiablo Daisy looks a big danger and sweeps into second. Stable companion Jack Cherry's gone after it and switched to the outside. These five are clear of the remainder, but it's Ars Life in the lead then past the four. Ars Life from Seventh Bride in second, then Tiablo Daisy and Gwitain approach and uh, Jack Cherry on the outside. No, no, Bomb is now running on well, so too is Star Deli and Jammer Cottage and Go and, St and Times Square Lock still got work to do but Ars Life kicks on again. Ars Life is in the lead by two from in second place. Seventh Bomb. Look at this. No, no, no. Bomb coming around the outside with Jammer Cottage. Seventh Bride on the rail. A Gogi's making grand hand over fist. So to his Star Deli. They're round down towards the final furlong and a half. And then it's Ars Life now being pressed by Jammer Cottage and No, no. Bomb. Seventh Bride is back in fourth. A Gogi and Star Deli still trying to get into it. Jammer Cottage might have hit the front. Seventh Bride starts to eat up the ground on the inside of the top weight. And it's Seventh Bride who's beginning to power into the lead. But a Gogi's finishing like a train, they're racing now inside the final half furlong, it's 7th Bride and a go 7th Bride leads by about a head, a Gogi's getting closer, 7th Bride just takes it a Gogi's second and then Jammer Cottage is third and the top weight has defied the handicapper and taking this one just a go was making ground and those two have finished a good 6 lengths clear of the rest it was a good race that one to start off this Little meeting at Newcastle and Seventh Bride takes it for Martin Leedham, a Gogue for Leon Van Rensburg second. Jammer Cottage for James Shea was third, who also took fourth with No No Bomb and Arms Life for Thomas Rogers was fifth. <laughs>